Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm the developer behind Soviet Soldier, and we're here for the sixth episode of the game. Uh, just as a warning, this episode does include spoilers, so anybody who wants to see the content, uh, that, naturally I guess, should go buy it on Steam. Alright, so last episode we were able to save Alexei uh, from a, a German camp. They're probably going to ship him off to a concentration camp, so good to save him and we also killed the SS officer as well now we continue on the road to Berlin to try and end the whole World War II era of Soviet soldier and here we go yep soul developer is me all right yep so this is the Berlin level here doesn't see a lot of destruction where did Alexi go a lot of things destroyed Alright, see so right here, now you're just gonna Alexi! shout out for your brother three times. Alexi! Alexi! And after that you go talk to Natalia. Morning, Ivan. What's wrong? You look worried. And if you can't find your brother in a war zone, you should be worried. <laughs> I can't find Alexi. I'm worried he may be hurt. Have you seen him? Yeah, I saw him talking to the colonel earlier this morning. He probably sent him on an errand. What kind of errand would you have in the middle of a war zone? <laughs> Alright. And you can see there's the commissar on the left. And then we go talk to the colonel. You know, back he's reinstated now. Previously he Morning, was sent colonel. to the penal battalion uh, for retreating in combat. How can I help you? Colonel, I can't find Alexi. But Natalia said that Alexi talked to you earlier. Ah, yes. He was looking bored, so I gave him a key from a dead German civilian and told him to see if it could open anything nearby. I'm gonna say, like, why'd you do that? That does not sound like a smart thing to do for a kid. Sir, why did you give him a key in the war zone? The kid has been through a lot. He needs to do something to take his mind off of everything that has happened to him. But... Don't worry. I'm sure Alexei wouldn't go too far. Here's the same key I gave Alexi. You can use it to find him. Alright, so now you get the key and you're going to have to go look for your brother. Uh, after 45 seconds, I believe, it'll show you which, like, it'll pop up like one of those exclamation marks will show you which building it is. But for sake of some pissing, I'm just going to tell you, it's this bu it's the farthest building away. There's like other doors you can try and open that won't work, but this is the one that's farthest away. There we go. Open. And you see we've got a little basement down here where we have Alexi. And I think this like says mean learn Russian soon. Alexi. It's kind of a sign that a lot of the Germans had because they're worried about Remember the Soviets coming in. Supply of vodka that mom didn't know about? And I accidentally broke a bottle. Yeah, I remember that. Especially how pissed Dad was. I remember that you took the blame for that, and I thought that you would always be there to protect me from any danger. This kind of sad that you weren't able to save him. We well, did save him, but like, didn't he still got captured? I'm just realizing that you can't always be there to protect me, and I need to be able to look after myself. You're right. Already a young age, a kid has to deal with that. But I can promise that I will do anything in my power to protect you. Thanks. Uh, I'm gonna let him stay down here. I don't think he, he like, if you let him go with you, he'll be involved he'll in the next combat he mission. But clearly, he's here. kind of like going through go. some stuff. So I'm just gonna let him deal with all this stuff. Right, now going out and up. Alright, now you gotta go talk to Natalia again. Jump. Jump. Just to kind of update her about the situation. Were you able to find Alexei? Yeah, he was just in a basement. Good. I was getting worried. You should go to the Colonel and let him know. Alright, now you go talk to the colonel again. Just, I guess, update him that you did find Alexi after all. Ah, 
Ivan, you're back. Did you find Alexei? Yeah. I found him in a nearby building's basement. I think he just wanted to be safe. Yeah, maybe one of those primal urge things where you can, like, well, go good. hide somewhere after the traumas happened. Be completely safe until we rid this city of Germans. <laughs> That's why we're going to attack today. I'm just gonna go positive, you know, make sure he thinks highly of me, you know. Let's go with that okay, attack. We need to make the Germans pay for their crimes today. That's the attitude I'd like to see in our army. Now go get a gun and prepare for combat. All right. All right. So now we're getting a gun. Yeah, you know, this is this is the attack on Berlin. You know. So I'm going to get first Molotovs, and I'll take the PPSH for this one. Since we're, I feel like since that's a lot of close quarters battles, you need to have a close quarter weapon. All right, now he's going to give a big motivational speech to all of the Comrades, Soviet soldiers who have have fought here since Russia. By these invaders. They have destroyed our homes, raped our women, and murdered our children. And now, we stand at the enemy's gates. Like you, I also want revenge for what they have done to us. And today, we have that opportunity. Today, we avenge those that have fallen before us. Today, we will make them pay in blood. Today, we get to show them what it means to be a Soviet soldier. Long live the Soviet Union! Attack! I like that speech, personally. Maybe a little bit over the top, but I feel like it's a good one. Especially for, like, you know, attack on Berlin. Shot from the machine gun across the street. All right, for this level especially, make sure to go over the dead Germans to get ammo because that can run out fairly quickly. And you can also lose your health very quickly in this level too, as evident by me. And right now you have two paths. You can either go down the left path or the right path. I'm gonna go down the left path. I think it's a slightly more interesting. Alright, and also if you decide to bring Alexi with you, he'd be following you. I don't think Natalia goes on this path, yeah, she goes on the other one. And you can see... Well, actually, no, you can't see because I'm trying to not get shot. You can see here they kind of have the... Uh, bad example, but they have the Volkssturm kind of bands on their arms right there since it's mostly just those types of people defending the city of Berlin right now. A lot of the people in the main army have either, uh, you know, died or been captured by the Soviets. Right, let's see if we can outflank them. God. Okay, still got some ammo. Uh, and there, I'm trying to throw a Molotov at him. Got him. Uh, can I eat this over there? Eat. Uh, yep, yeah, got him. All right, and you see saving right there. It's you get a checkpoint here to come back to. Oh, there's the same line earlier. Learn Russian quickly. I believe that's what it says. Been a little while since I wrote that line. 
no, 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 no. I believe that's the line that was actually did have, was written frequently in uh, Germany to kind of be like, hey, you know, learn Russian quickly because they're coming. Oh, dang it. Shot it. And you can kind of go inside the building, some of the buildings for a little bit to try and avoid getting shot. go and I got more Molotovs which I can throw at him not. there we go and there's too many I'm gonna wait for the rest of the boys to catch up because there are way too many of them over there and you see those little ammo boxes right there there are a lot of those throughout this level that you can try and uh, get to reinforce your ammo the, the average soldier just provides like, you know, half a magazine. Well, that provides like oh, a lot more. Uh, oh, dang it, he's already dead. Oh, hide, hide, hide. And you can see that's, kind of, that's where the other soldiers are going to if you took the other path. I don't even see where I'm being shot there. There you are. Him. And there are two more here. Got him. And there's one more in that building there. He's a little bit tricky. Since he's got a good angle on you. So be careful going that way. Alright, there you go. After a little bit of running through the whole thing. Able to kind of get to this end of the town section. Well, not town, but end of area section and you see a kid there are a lot of kids were unfortunately forced into the it was a Volkstum you know Nazi okay. propaganda and all was okay. effective on kids Hitler youth you can all and now kids drawn yeah. a weapon on you Just put the gun down. and obviously you don't want to shoot a kid but it's like he's gonna he's got a gun pointed at you so you keep your gun pointed at him hope he puts it down that's probably a family member or something he's lost yeah. there. Put the gun down. Yeah, I'm just going to try and ask him put it again. Put it down. Kid, put your gun down. Please, don't make me do it. No, no, no! And now he got shot. And he bleeds out there. God. And onto your own heart, hands even. And Natalia was the one who shot him. A kid with a gun pointed at your head. Wait. I'm going to go find some food for us to eat. Come find me when you're ready. As one of those things, like, was she justified in doing that? The kid probably would have killed you. And you know they're executing some prisoners over there. And also at the same time, they're having a lot of vodka. You know, kind of a celebration that the war's finally getting over. So they're like just drinking a little bit, you know. Big celebration in Berlin after the war ended. For the Soviets at least. Not so much for the Germans. Look at this. The Germans with all their stuff decided that they needed to take from us. People who have nothing. We all lost our family to people. This is a big sentiment that the Soviets seen. had. It's like, why did the Germans attack us? They're they're rich. Like when they went when they're in Berlin, they saw like the opulence kind of the city. And it's like, why are these rich people trying to take from us poor farmers in Russia? And I'm gonna ask her kind of like about what happened to her family. She's been a little bit secretive about it, and now you, you get the opportunity to family. hear it. What happened to them? And then she needs to drink a little bit before yeah, hearing about that. I had a husband and two boys, one of which was named Ivan. It's kind of like why she said, oh, well, your name's Ivan in level two. But we were betrayed and our location was given to the Nazis. They attacked our hideout and murdered my husband and my children while they... 
did unspeakable acts <laughs> to me and other women. <laughs> Luckily, the colonel was able to show up before they killed me and the rest of the survivors. After that, we joined the Red Army, and the rest is history. And now some other woman sh shouting for help. Lexi, Lexi said something. For, also, for those who don't get by, who don't connect the points, um, Natalia is actually, or the Colonel is actually Natalia's father-in-law. Um, <laughs> we'll drop that there. Now I'm gonna go try and run to find out what's going on with Lexi. Both of them kind of, if you connect the points, both of them lost their kid. Same situation. All right, calm down. We are just taking the spools of war. Unfortunate thing that happens a lot when soldiers are drunk and after a lot of battle. I'm gonna try and get to tell the soldiers to get lost for both their sake and Alexi's. So they don't shoot Alexi, Alexi doesn't shoot them. It's going to be okay. You're safe now. It's kind of After Lexi trying to her, help her. Natalia and the Colonel went back home to try and repair their lives. Since I had no other opportunities, I mean, I Ivan's been in the Red Army for a lot of his life now. I stayed in Germany until 1952. I ensured that the Germans paid their reparation to help repair our country and make sure they were too weak to attack us again. Yeah, the Germans paid a lot of reparations to the Soviets in terms of manpower and material. In 1952, we went our separate ways as I was transferred to Hungary and Alexei went back to Russia. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that ends the um, World War II segment of the game. Up up next is the Hungarian Uprising, kind of, and now this is kind of like the rise of power for Ivan where he gets more uh, promotional responsibility and his choices begin to have more and more impact on history. Uh, it's a very, I like that part a lot, so... I hope you all enjoy it later. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. I'll be releasing an update for Soviet soldiers sh soon. Uh, and there will be a, um, what should we call it? Oh yeah, I'll be having a 25% discount for the Steam Summer Sale, which will be happening, I believe, at the end of uh, this month, June. So it would be 25% off, like I said. So if you're unable to afford it at launch, it'll be a little bit cheaper then. I hope you all be able to buy it. Like, Thank you all for watching. Hope you have a good day and goodbye.